All right, welcome to another episode of Mr. Cereal. And today we're gonna to be looking at some of the health aspects of cereal. And I have here with me, Dr. Jason Jones. He's a doctor of pharmacy. I uh, appreciate you being here with us today. You're welcome, my pleasure. And he's been practicing for a while. How long have you been doing pharmacy? Since 1989, 25 years. Wow, that's mm -hmm. older than I am myself, <laughs> amazingly. I wanted him to come here and just talk a little bit about uh, vitamins and what goes into cereals. A big thing about cereal you hear a lot is a big push on the vitamins that are in them and everything. And right here I have a very vitamin-packed and mineral-packed cereal here, Wheaties. It's known for kind of helping you get up and going, you know. Right. Um, as far as the vitamins that go into this, it's pretty heavily fortified on a lot of these vitamins. I mean, you're getting, for several of them, you're getting 50% of um, some of the minerals, especially in this particular cereal, right. it's like. Is that good having that much? I mean, because here's the deal with these serving sizes. Typically, if I eat this cereal myself, I'm not gonna have just a little right. 27 right. gram serving, three, it's gonna be double that. Right. So I'm already hitting 100% for some of this right. stuff. For an adult, I think this would be okay. It is heavily fortified, but for children, this is, I think this is too much of the vitamins and minerals. It can cause some problems as far as growth problems, liver problems, um, just anything that metabolizes this, your kidneys. So I would look for something way less in vitamin content for children, especially if they ta already take a vitamin supplement. Well-rounded nutrition, eating right, provides you with a lot of the vitamins and minerals that you need anyway. So I don't think you really need this much. Generally speaking, are vitamin supplements better or worse or equal than what you would find like in, I guess what they call sometimes spray on vitamins or whatever right. they do with cereals. I mean, what's, what's your look at, at that? I would do one or the other. I would try to do a sort of a middle of the road cereal with um, like say 30 to 40% of your recommended daily allowance and then just eat right. Or um, take a vitamin supplement if you don't eat cereal that already is fortified. Just recently watched something on vitamins and they say there are some People say they're not that necessary. Calcium for women is important, but as far as nutritional vitamin supplements, and I am a pharmacist, so I sell them a lot of times. <laughs> you know, they really don't know how effective they are, but you can't get too many. You know, kicks. I got some kicks here. Mm -hmm. It says kids tested, mother approved. Right. How does that rate as far as the vitamins, as far as you know what that's packed with sugar, everything right. else? Is that a better choice for kids? Generally, I mean, it sounds like it is. It already says mother approved. Iron is 45. That's a little bit high. Um, but you are getting some fiber, so it would counteract if there is any constipation problems with too much iron. Yeah. So you're getting <laughs> fiber. with the constipation. <laughs> but you're getting three grams of dietary fiber. That's so something that you run into a lot with uh, is it more adults, kids. You see a lot of constipated kids just out of curiosity. You do, and it could be because they're getting too much mm. iron in their cereal. Interesting. Yeah. In fact, there, guys, watch yeah. the iron. Yeah, watch up, stuff up the up. fiber. One thing I noticed, we talked about this briefly beforehand, on a lot of these fiber cereals, and I've mentioned this, um, they will actually double the servings mm -hmm. on some of these fiber and protein cereals just to make it seem like it's that much more packed per serving. Now, for the serving they recommend, it does have what they say it has in it, but the fact of the matter is, yeah, something like this, the serving size is gonna be, you know, double what you'd find. Like th this Wheaties, Wheaties serving size is 27 grams. What is that showing there? This is showing 55 grams. Yeah, so that's double. more than double yeah, the serving higher. size, you know, so that's, that's a little trick they do some. I mean, mm -hmm. so this fiber, you know, would be a, a bit higher. Right. If you double it. Not as high as 10 grams there, but it still would be a lot higher. Something just to watch out for. This particular mm -hmm. cereal is one of the few. They do this with Cheerios, and I've seen it with another one or two that actually break the serving size, which here you notice, into age categories. Oh, okay. Very so good. So they actually have this for children under four mm -hmm. and then children four to 12. Very good. And so that way you can kind of see a little better how the vitamins and everything work out. Because as you know, your parents already know this, but Cheerios is one of the first kind of hard cereals mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that a lot of um, parents will feed, moms will feed their kids, uh, even babies are kind of, as they start to get to that solid state of food, they give them a Cheerio. And so for that reason, you know, they've been really good with Cheerios to number one, keep it a pretty simple cereal, mm -hmm. super low on sugar. This right. only has like one gram of right. sugar. That's great. Um, that's why it's kind of nasty in my opinion. <laughs> Before I let you go, I always do have to ask what the favorite cereal mm -hmm. is. Well, if I were he if when I'm trying to be healthy, I do like Cheerios, and and, and I we Kashi if we're doing like a Daniel's fast or something like that, we'll eat Kashi. But my guilty 
pleasure is apple jacks i have to admit and it's probably how much sugar does it have in it well it just happens we have a box here so you can oh, check that out <laughs> just I'll so like, happens it's a blast from the past i always ate this um sugar is 12 grams mm. wow. anything over to me 23 grams and up, over it should be a dessert but this is about a cup of cereal is 12 grams of sugar so mm -hmm. wow. 12 times what the cheerios was and about four times what yeah well tell you what i'm gonna give you a chance here to All enjoy right. some of that sugar okay sounds good and, uh, guilty pleasure oh yeah gotta do that gotta do that everything's about balance it's about balance that's right go for it all right cheers all right Toast. cheers all right <laughs> thanks for joining us i'm gonna enjoy my apple jacks and bon we'll appetit. see you guys next time yes bon appetit mm -hmm.